of what I've lacked Where the hell did I go wrong? <laughs> yep I got an intro now Cool Anyway Hey guys Fallen Angel I'm tired Um Today's video I'm going to be talking about the song that I just came up with in a day. Um, it wasn't the song that I was working on. That, that one I already finished. The topic is the song that I wrote in like a day or so. And it's on the uh, suicide video. I'll post the link down in the description. And... Well, the meaning to it, um, basically think of it as like a story, a story of, uh, of a person who they're so down and they're so tired and, they, you know, they, they can't get out of bed, they can't get up from, you know, their fall that, and, and they've had enough and they're so confused and it's like he the person just has so much insanity and it's like all this madness that's going on and he the person just finally gives up you know and he, 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 the person says you know he's fought all the, the, can't stop saying he it could be a guy or a girl but um you know, the, 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 the person's gone really far, they fought so long, and it's like they can't, they just can't do it anymore, so, you know, they decide to commit suicide, and, um, well, the person's begging, you know, for God to forgive them, and, you know, the person decides, oh, okay, I'm gonna write down um, a letter, a suicide letter, so he writes, he, gosh so the person writes the suicide letter and it's been like you know the person describes you know it's been like this for some time um the pain that the person's gone through and why he the, the person wishes that he could just get better and you know the person feels a lot and they just not that they're just not that strong anymore. Here it says, um, I'm not that strong to face my fears, basically. What that states is he's, the person is not strong to face up to their, their own enemy of themselves. And, you know, a lot of people can't do that. And, you know, rarely, rarely a lot of them stand up to it. You know, but he, this person just decided that it was just too much and now they think they think that you know if this is the end for them and in their letter they write down you know who will miss me if I'm not around you know and the person says locked away in my room not okay this is my final day is stating that that was their final day of life <clears throat> takes, you know, their parents' gun, um, locked away, and, you know, he finally, the person finally kills themselves, and basically, what he's, sh the person is trying to explain is the after effects of this entire situation, and, you know, the family, whatever family that this person has, they gather around, they say goodbye, and, you know, there's broken hearts, pouring eyes, you know, a lot of tears. And the person's describing what exactly they see on the other side. And they see, you know, burning flames, basically hell. Because <laughs> it states that in every holy book, I guess, and in ancient times and all that, they say it's that um, anybody who takes their own life goes to hell and burns in flames. I'm not sure if anyone believes in that, but that's what this person sees. And they see their own misery, and it's like they're gonna be suffering for eternity. So it's like they just they didn't end their misery; they just added more to it. It says, "The virus spreads through my heart, through my blood, and will tear apart." That states that 
it doesn't matter if you have blood related family the pain will pass over to them but if you don't have any family you're just there that's like your heart but it's like they care about you it's like their heart right there passes through my heart is the people who aren't family related but they care about you and blood is family related i don't know if you guys understand that it's him he describes all of that and you know it just affects everyone around you and everybody has to make very smart decisions when it comes to that because you know you only get one chance to live life and yes it's terrible i know life is just god awful but you know you gotta be strong about it no matter what happens even if you feel like it's the end it's it probably won't be you know, a lot of people are hopeless i was hopeless at one point and i just didn't know how i even made it this far and you know i don't plan on giving up now because you know i finally realized that there's a lot of people out there that would miss me if i died tomorrow or today so yeah the whole point is to just really appreciate what you have and to just find that one person that will really care if you're gone because it would hurt them very much anyway guys this has been another video and uh thanks for watching bye bye